Assessments are an important part of learning. However, final exams and quizzes aren't always the best way to check how much your students have learned. Assessments should be happening daily, weekly, and monthly to ensure all students are learning effectively. There are many ways you can assess students. We'll be looking at only a few simple methods in this lesson. All assessments should check understanding, not provide a final result. You can look at students' assessments as a way to check your own teaching as an instructor as well. If many students are struggling with a concept, you might need to adjust your technique. Whereas if one student is having difficulty, you can offer help through peer work or other techniques. Let's look at a few ways to assess student understanding. Number one, self-assessment. This is a great strategy to help students understand their own learning and knowledge. This strategy involves asking students about a subject at the beginning of a unit. You can do with a few different activities such as homework questionnaires, a quick in-class icebreaker lesson, or a group assignment. Ask students what they already know about the topic, what they assume, and what they think they might learn in the coming unit. This will give you an idea of the student's previous knowledge as well as help the student recognize their own knowledge limits. Two, in-class assessments. In the middle of the lesson, take a few minutes to ask a few questions to judge student understanding. They can connect the concepts Rather, can they connect the concepts to live examples? What do they think they'll know by the end of the lesson? Compare what they know now to what they thought they would know at the beginning. Have a short five minute discussion about the material before getting back into the lesson. This type of activity shifts students thinking suddenly. It snaps them back into the lesson and helps them see the progress they're making. Three, end of unit assessments. Where you would normally have a quiz or exam, first ask your students to think about the self-assessment they did at the beginning of the unit. How well did they predict the outcome? This can be set up as a class discussion or as a self-assessment activity. Students can make comparisons between where they were at the beginning and where they are now. They can see what information they've learned and what they may be struggling with. This will help them prepare for final assignments and exams, as well as help them be cognizant of their own learning. <laughs>